Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mood. Here we have interesting exponential equation a to the power x plus 2 to the power x equal to 10. If you know an answer, if you feel an answer, write your answer in the comment, write your suggestion in the comment. So let's try to solve it. First of all, I think that this a I can express this 2 cube. So let's do this at first. 2 cube to the power x plus 2 to the power x equal to 10. What we're going to do next? Of course, we need to know about the rule of interchange, so we can swap these, these exponents, these powers. So let's do this. We will have 2 to the power x cube plus 2 to the power x equal to 10. Really good case right now, because we have 2 to the power x and 2 to the power x, we can use a substitution. So let this 2 to the power x equal to, for example, t. And we will have interesting cube equation, t cube plus t minus 10 equal to 0. I bring this 10 on the left. This is our t. This is our t cube. So how can I solve this? Of course, let's start with the factors of this 10. Let's try to, let's try to factor out maybe parentheses, factor, factors. So which factors do you have? Plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 5, and plus minus 10. So these factors we need to check real quick and then we will see which parentheses we will factor out. So let's check plus 1. So we will have 1 plus 1 minus 10. For sure, of course, not equal to 0. Minus 1 real quick. Minus 1 plus 1 minus 10, not equal to 0. Plus 2, we will have 8 plus 2 minus 10. This is good. Minus 2, we will have minus 8, minus 2, minus 10, of course, this is not equal to 0, plus 5. And I see right now that this 5 cube, it will be 125, and this, of course, will be not equal to 0, minus 5 as well. And, of course, the same situation with plus minus 10. This is not equal to 0. So we can see right now that, that we can factor out from this, we can factor out t minus 2. But we need to find the other parentheses. Maybe we will have more roots, more solution. So how can we do with this? I want to suggest you a little quick trick right now, because we can write a t minus two right here, t minus two right here, t minus two right here near this value. But how can we do this? Of course, we have t cube right here, and we need t minus two. But we don't have t square. What can we do with it? We can write minus two t square and plus two t square. We have t, but we need t minus 2 factor out, so we can write minus 4t and plus 5t. And the last minus 10 equal to 0. So we have t cube, t square, so we can factor out t square from here, so we will have t square, and in parentheses we will have our t minus 2 plus. Let's factor out 2t right here. And in parentheses, we will have t minus 2, as we need. And the last, let's factor out 5 plus 5. And in parentheses, we will have t minus 2 equal to 0. Really good case right now, because we have t minus 2, t minus 2, and t minus 2. And we can factor out this t minus 2. So we will have t minus 2. And in parentheses, we will have from here t square plus 2t and plus 5 equal to zero. We have a product equal to zero, so the first t minus two equal to zero, t equal to two, and let's go to our substitution. So two to the power x equal to t, and two to the power x equal to two as well with this equation, so x equal to one. This is the first root, the first root to this exponential equation. So let's go right here, so we have t square plus two t and plus five equal to zero. I see right now that our square root, which we need to calculate our roots, is less than zero because we have four minus twenty. So our square root will be minus sixteen. So of course 
this roots right here and we will next go to other substitution this part will be complex so if you're interested in this you can solve it t1 or t2 or t3 and let's, let's go to our substitution and you will have complex roots complex roots if you're interested with it you can solve it you can write your answer in the comment but we're interested in real number root so x equal to 1 is our answer so if you have any question if you have any suggestion write your suggestion about complex roots thank you for watching and see you in the next videos